What's going on, people? It's Emmanuel for Altenor Media. Now, for all you Atlanta fans out there that are watching right now, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe right now because you know I will continually be adding new content on Atlanta. Y'all know that's my show right there. Now, I started off reviewing the I think the last eight episodes or seven episodes of this season. So I'm just going back to the beginning of the Robin season and catching up, reviewing the first four episodes. So I'm going to start this one off with Alligator Man, which was the season premiere of season two, Robin season. And this featured a great, great Cat Williams guest star appearance. So anyway, uh, and after that, um, I'll most likely go back and review season one also so again make sure you subscribe to the channel for more atlanta content anyway let's get right into alligator man so this season opened in crazy kind of expected atlanta fashion with these two young kids they go from just chilling in the house playing fifa to robbing a fast food spot and then a shootout ensues just a whole bunch of craziness but this really sets off the robin season and this lets us know that we're in for like a crazy crazy season so uh fast forward ahead we're go we see earn earn is homeless Earn is so homeless that he's getting booted out of the storage unit that he's living in. So we now we open the season seeing that Earn is really in a desperate situation. And this is this is probably going to set up what happens you know, for the rest of the season. So um I'm just looking down at my notes. So anyway, uh Earn goes to Al and Darius's house, and when he gets there, Al and Darius are, you know, they're at odds. They're having a little, a little fight, not physical, but um, so Aaron is kind of like trying to stay out of it because he cares about both of them. He's gotten close with Darius, uh, Alice's fam, so that right there. So he's trying to, you know, keep it all cool. So. Anyway, uh, then the um his Al's girl walks in, and <laughs> Ern ends up calling her. He calls her Nicole. Her name is Tara, but he calls her Nicole. Uh, at first, she questions him, but then she just drops it. It's it's real funny how she just brushes it off. She knows that that means that. Alice, you know, with other chicks, but she just brushes it off. Like, it doesn't really even matter to her. But Alice looking at him, Alice looking at her like, nigga, like, really? So, anyway, and so we see that Al and Ern are still at odds. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, what exactly they're at odds about. But Ern says that, you know, he loves them both. So he's not taking sides and he, you know, he's neutral and he wants them to make up. And when he says that, Tara just, <laughs> she clowns him with, nigga, what? <laughs> it's like, get your boy. Your boy's tripping. And that's interesting that Tara said that because a lot of people ask, you know, they want men to be emotional and affectionate and state their feelings but now we see Ern do that and he gets clowned by a woman for it so that's really interesting how that that was a nice touch a nice little i like that because that really shows you know just kind of the how it can play that way how you know we we uh we want men to be emotional but when they are we kind of we clown them for it 
So that that was that was real, real cool. So uh, anyway, Ern and Ern and uh, uh, Darius are driving. Darius is Darius is taking Ern to go see his uh, P to the PO office. So now we really see that Ern and Darius are are cool like that. So they're driving and Darius gets into the whole uh, Florida man thing, which is uh which is crazy, but it's true though, cause so much crazy stuff happens in Florida. You 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 always hearing about something crazy happening in Florida, whether it be like just like they said, somebody eating a beating up a flamingo, you know, someone eating someone's face or uh, an unarmed black person getting shot. It's always something crazy coming out of Florida. So the Florida man thing, you know, it's it, it's so much crazy stuff happens that it takes on a life of its own and it's become a person. Which is that that was that was that was real clever, Florida man. The Florida man does exist too. Florida man is a real thing. So uh Ern gets to the PO office and he's talking to the PO, no, to whatever woman that's working, whoever the woman that's working there. And she's telling him about all these fees that he owes. And now you really see how much money plays a part in the, the correctional system, you know, the police system. You have to pay all of these fees, a prison entrance fee and all that stuff. It's really all about the money. You know, they're making so much money off of this stuff. So it's, that was another you know, look inside of the, really the exploitation, you know, of the people by the system. So that was another nice little jewel also. What else we got here? And let's go back a little bit to when they were to when they were driving, cause first Ern asks Darius, "What's going on? Like, what's going on with you and and Al?" He doesn't want to answer, so he's real silent and somber. And then uh, Darius asks him how his parents are, and Ern says his parents are, you know, they're good, but they're going to Florida to see. His uncle who's dying. And in typical Darius fashion, he completely jumps over the dying uncle part and is just like, you gotta be careful for Florida, man, which is, that was crazy. <laughs> Darius is a trip for real. He is a trip. So, yeah, um, so now we get to the crazy part of the episode. Ern gets a call from Al and tells him to go over to check on to, to go check on um the uncle who is in that the house is owned by Al. So Al goes to check on you know the uncle and when he gets there, we meet it's Cat Williams. Cat Williams name is um his big return, you know, his, his comeback. And Cat killed this role. He really killed it. He was believable as the uncle. He was believable as an Atlanta character. And apparently, you know, his girlfriend stole his money. Excuse me. His girlfriend stole his money. And he locked her in the room. So... She calls Al and Al sends Ern there. So Ern gets there. They get into a whole big thing. And the police are called. And now when the police come, there's a possibility that this could escalate into, you know, a, sh a shootout. So, and here we see that, you know, just uh, through Ern's reaction, we see the gravity of the situation, just how serious it can be when the police shows up at your house. It can end up in death easily, you know, especially in terms of black people. So um, 
they did well to explain that that, that situation could have easily ended up deadly. So you, you got to make sure to be on your P's and Q's because once the police is called there, sometimes there's no going back. It could end with your, with your life. So Ern is trying to convince his uncle to go out and meet with the police. But the uncle is, he's, he, he's not trying to go out there yet. And they get into a whole thing and Ern tells the uncle that uh, he doesn't want to end up like him, you know, someone who's smart, but who just let shit happen to them. And I kind of feel like Ern feels like he's in that position because Ern is smart, but he's not really doing anything. Life is happening to him. He's homeless. And <laughs> his uncle lets him know that. He's like, Ern, how you going to, um, how you going to look at me when you're homeless? <laughs> you don't even have a mirror to look at yourself, <laughs> which is crazy. And he tells, once he realizes that Al sent Ern over, then he tells Al, you know, Al is scared to lose. No, he tells Ern that he's scared to lose Al because he's managing Al. And he knows that Al is the money man. So he's he's just doing whatever Al tells him to stay in Al's good graces, you know, so he can survive. And then Ern confesses that, you know, that is his fear. You know, he knows that Al is his lifeblood right now. He doesn't want to lose, he doesn't want to lose Al because Paperboy is about to blow at any moment now. So Al doesn't want to be left behind. So that's another fear that he has. And then his uncle tells him to you know, just that chip on your shoulder thing, you need to drop it. You know, swallow your pride. And then he hands um, Al a gun, a golden gun. To, he's going to surrender to, to the police. So he hands Al the golden gun. So I guess if the police searches him or they search the house, they won't find the gun. <laughs> so Al, he takes the gun. And, uh, but I should say that it was true. Yvonne stole that money. So the uncle was right. She stole that money. And then she uh, he kicked the ass. He told her, no, she better not come back. So, um, yeah. Anyway, and there's, a, there's an alligator in the house. You know, alligator man. He owns an alligator. An alligator named coach by the way <laughs> which is okay so um so when uh Aaron takes the gun for uncle willie uncle willie is here. and then um Aaron goes out and tells the cops that willie is going to surrender but instead of willie coming out the alligator ends up coming outside. It acts as sort of a diversion. And then we cut to Willie. He's just out. Willie is on his friggin' Usain Bolt. He is out in his robe. He's like really out. <laughs> that, that was a crazy scene. That that whole thing was, was crazy. But Uncle Willie, he, he dropped some knowledge. I think his name was on. He dropped some knowledge on uh, on Ern. He let, you know, let Ern know. So then we, Darius and Ern get back to the crib and Darius is still upset. But it's, it's funny how they made up. Darius is walking past Al, who's on the couch, and Al just offers him some bud. And then Darius just accepts it. And that's how they made up. So that's really interesting. How, <laughs> that's like the the um the dude hood way to make up. He just offered him some bud. And then they just made up. So Al was the one who swallowed his pride and extended the olive branch to Darius. 
with the with the bud. And then Darius just sits down on the couch and everything is cool again. They're smoking. But Al is still homeless. So and then a friend walks in. Tracy, who just got out of jail. He's now staying with uh, with Al and Darius, but Earn still has no place to stay. Earn is homeless. And so Earn is kind of put off by that. He's kind of shocked that this dude is staying there and Earn is not staying there. So I wonder how that that'll affect the relationship between Earn and Alfred and Darius, you know, going forward, being that this dude is staying there and Earn isn't, you know, Earn doesn't have a place to stay. But Earn didn't actually ask Al if he could stay there. You know, but he asked when they were in the car, he asked Darius, you know, would he think it would be okay if he stayed there? He asked if um Tara was staying spend the night there. So Earn never actually asked if he could stay there. Maybe Al was waiting for Earn to ask. He didn't want to just over extend. He wanted him to handle his business. But Darius did ask Earn, you know, you good? And Earn said he was good. So you know, if you want something, I guess that's the chip on Earn's shoulder a little bit. He didn't actually ask if he wanted to stay with them. He should have just asked his cousin if he could stay. So uh, this was overall. This was an excellent opening episode from the crazy opening scene, which you know just is Robin season all the way until to Uncle Willie. It was just uh, it was a crazy episode. It was real good. So what I'm looking forward to in the season, it would be how, you know, what's going to happen with Earn and Al in terms of being his manager. How secure is Earn's position? And how is that going to motivate him or, you know, dictate his actions throughout the season? That should be real interesting. Because Al is going to take off eventually. So where is that going to leave Earn? Is Earn going with him? Or is Earn going to stay where he's at? And I think that's going to be one of the biggest questions going forward. So we'll see, you know, how that's answered. You know, where Paperboy and Manager Earn are at the end of the season. So, yeah, anyway, it was a... Great episode. Again, make sure you please subscribe to the channel. Once again, I'm Emmanuel. You know, actually, let me know what you thought about the episode. So comment your thoughts, your reactions, whatever. And then I'm going to do episode two next. And I, anyway, Emmanuel, once again, peace.